Grace started her pregnancy by regular IVF with one difference. Right after we sent her husband's sperm into her egg, we also sent in a little bit of protein and instruction for a gym surgery. When Lulu and Lana was just a single cell, this surgery removed the doorway through which HIV entered to infect people. This hey guy wanted this to be mainstream. He wanted cheap, very accessible gene editing. He wanted to make it like the Walmart of gene editing. The result indicated that the surgery worked safely as intended. No gene was changed except the one to prevent HIV infection. There's something called CRISPR, which allows for the precise editing of DNA in embryos, which then get implanted into the woman trying to become pregnant. Now, the use of CRISPR to modify human embryos, sperm, or eggs for reproductive purposes, it's called germline editing, is actually banned in many countries. But the supporters of gene editing say that it can eliminate diseases and enhance human evolution. He did this experiment, very precarious science. He was actually imprisoned in China for three years for doing this. He eventually was let out. He was let into the United States. Now apparently he is eyeing a lab in Austin, Texas, focused on Alzheimer's research and embryo gene editing. Why what he did was so controversial is because CRISPR historically had been used to treat diseases like sickle cell anemia, but what he wanted to do was, and what he did do, was edit embryos, permanently altering not only the babies, but all of their offspring, all of their descendants. And the ethical debate, of course, is that you're kind of treating humans like lab rats when you're doing that. We're not sure if any of this was medically necessary to do, and his experiment risked altering the human germline irresponsibly. But fundamentally, it's playing God. And as a Christian, I believe that's messed up, not just because we shouldn't be engineering kids in a lab, but because it also further sidelines those with special needs. And it takes something away from our collective humanity that is very serious and very grave. And I think we are dismissing that 